Hey guys, happy first week of September. My windows are open so you might hear dogs barking or who knows what, we live on a farm. Just a warning, but I wanted to check in this week. Um, yesterday was our son's 17th birthday, my baby, so that was not okay. <laughs> um, just crazy to think that he's almost an adult. Um, but we had a good day celebrating with him. We went to like a Brazilian steakhouse last night, which as if you know what that is, you know that there's so many good things to eat that are all like on bland. So that was fun. Um, and just had some, he wanted to go to an antique store. So we went to the antique stores, which we've grown up taking him to. It's fun to see both of our boys enjoy the things that we enjoy. So, um, he got some old Spider-Man comic books and stuff like that. So we had a good day. Um, but I was not even talking about that. <laughs> I want you to go listen to the potty from today. Um, if you don't, I'm not a, a regular potty listener. I don't listen to every one. I kind of look at the topic and see if it's something, what it is or whatever. But I saw this week's potty was on, um, strength training. It was called like, do what you stink at, I think. Um, I always love a good title that Pearl and String come up with, but it really intrigued me because it's something my doctor and I had just talked about a week ago that she was telling me that I needed to start doing strength training because of my muscle mass being weak. And there's the potty, comes right in. You know, I think it's a popular topic that we don't discuss as much as we should, especially after we hit, hit 40 and over. Um, so if you're 40 or over, or even if you're younger than that really, um, losing muscle mass becomes like a big thing. So um, that's something I'm just starting to look into. Well, thankfully, Pearl and Serena are already researching. And it sounds like their book coming out next, Trim Healthy Wisdom, I think, is going to hit some of these things. So I'm super excited about that. Um, but something to, to listen to, I think it'll inspire you, Pearl's journey um, of her doctor talking to her about her biggest comorbidity and um, how she needed to build muscle and strength. So I encourage you to go listen to that one. Um, like I said, I don't listen all the time, but this one was encouraging to me to start in my journey as I've lost some weight. Um, I hit a different goal today. Um, so I think I've lost like 30 pounds, pretty close to it. I don't know how that other weight came off. Like all of a sudden I lost like five pretty fast and um, I'm hit, I don't, I don't know what happened, but I'll take it while I can because I know there'll become a day soon when it won't happen like that. So anyways, um, I think I'm down about 30 pounds total from my doctor's first weigh-in. Um, so that was exciting. Um, hit kind of a bunch of little goals in a row. Um, so anyways, uh, I think you'll really enjoy the potty. I think you should listen to it. Um, I would encourage, it was encouraging to me, um, to see where she started and now what she's doing and, um, all that kind of stuff. So I am going to start researching for myself and my son, um, has helped me before, but he's kind of into that kind of stuff too. So hopefully he'll work with me a little bit. Um, but she just uses free weights. She doesn't go, you know, do a bunch of crazy stuff. So I think I might just start with some free weights at home and look into some basics. Um, but there was that. And otherwise, just having a pretty normal week here in Ohio. It's cooling down finally. Um, and we've just been running, running, running. And I'm hoping to get some rest days in. We got our co-op starts next week for homeschooling. I'm helping lead a, a girls Bible study and then um, helping with drama class and it's my favorite. And then um, I'm helping my father-in-law is coming out of a 14 year retirement. He's eight, he's gonna be 80 and he is going to be teaching them some um, American history. So he's super excited about it. So I've agreed to just sit in on his class and like help um, be his helper in the class. So that starts next week and our field trips start up. And then um, in about a month here, basketball will get into full swing with practices. So life isn't slowing down. So I'm thankful that um, 
I've lost what I had to kind of get me into this season that's going to be busier. Um, I know um, I was going to tell you one thing from Listen to Potty today because I know uh, Pearl and Serene are not really big into tracking uh, much. They talked about that today. They aren't into tracking macros and using apps and doing all that stuff. Um, so I am don't want you to take what I do and say, well, I have to do that too. Um, it's really up to you how you want to do it. Um, she was talking about how it can be kind of like um, you can get obsessed with it all and all that stuff. Um, I'm doing it the way I'm doing it because I need to right now. I'm hoping there'll become a day in the future when I don't have to do that. Um, but for now, it helps me because my doctor's tracking things um, to be able to work with me. So I'm having to do things a little bit differently. Um, most people on THM don't track, uh, all their calories and their, their foods that they're eating or whatever. Um, but some, for some people it's helpful. So that's the beauty of THM is you can do it how you want to. I mean, truly, um, that's, that's just one of the things I've always liked about the plan. So that's one thing I wanted to say because I don't want you to take what I'm doing and go, this is how I have to do the plan or the way any other THM coach or whoever tells you that they do it. You can kind of tweak things and make them what works for you and your lifestyle and what makes you stay on track and encourage you to do your best. So I love that one thing Pearl's talked about today was like, I'm not Serene. I am Pearl. I do, you know, she's doing the lifting and her weight training the way she can where Serene's build and body type's different. She's more of like a beast in the gym, you know. We're all different with all different facets of THM. So anyway, those are just a few of the things I wanted to say today. I wanted to encourage you to go listen to the potty. I wanted to encourage you um, just to do what's best for you. Find out what works for you to keep you on track and motivated. Um, you know, just to update you about life in general. But those are just a couple little things for today.